This is a Kanban board. Question. How many Kanban cards do you see? Keep that number in mind. Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to Development That Pays. As you may know, Kanban originated in the world of manufacturing. Here we have a machine for processing things. Things arrive from the left and are processed through the machine. They then move off to the right. So far, so good. But what happens when things start to arrive at a greater rate? Slowly but surely, things start to back up to the left of the machine. This buildup is a problem. There's more work in progress than there needs to be. And that represents a cost to the business in a couple of ways. There's money tied up in each of these things and the things are taking up floor space. That also has to be paid for. This is the problem that Mr. Taichi Ono, an engineer at Toyota, set out to solve. He borrowed a trick that he'd spotted in an American supermarket. Mr. Ono observed that the store shelves were stocked with just enough product to meet consumer demand, and the inventory would only be restocked when there was a visual signal to do so, in this case, an empty space on the shelf. To transfer this to the factory, Mr. Ono needed a way for one process to be able to ask the previous process for more stock. Enter, you guessed it, the Kanban card. Our machine processes a thing and then dispatches a Kanban card to the previous process. Kanban roughly translates as signboard or billboard, and it's a signal to the previous process to send another thing along. Naturally, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Our original machine is subject to the same rule. It should only be processing in response to actual demand, meaning another Kanban card. As things stand, the work in progress is just about as low as it can be, but it's also a little slower than it might be. We can speed things up by allowing a strictly limited bit of work in progress. Notice that the additional things are held just to the right of the process that's just produced it. That's important because it means that each process is in control of its own work in progress. If we now think about a Kanban board as used in software development, the processes, the machines, are the columns. The things are the tickets. And the Kanban cards are, oh, nowhere to be seen. Have we thrown the baby out with the bathwater? Not quite. The Kanban cards are with us in spirit, if not in body. The important part of the Kanban system is the signaling, and we do have signaling. For example, this column signals its need for another ticket by virtue of its um, emptiness. Very much like the empty space on the supermarket shelf. Talk to you next time.